Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome, my dear Strip One in Language Schools. This is Mrs. Shayma Saeed, and today we will talk about geometric constructions. Lesson 6 and geometry. First, constructing a perpendicular from a point outside a straight line. How can we draw a perpendicular from a point outside a straight line? We will start our steps. If AB is a given straight line and C belongs to AB, no, C it doesn't belong to AB. As you see, here we have AB a straight line. C doesn't belong to this straight line AB. اللي موجود قدامنا دلوقتي على الشاشة اللي straight line اللي اسمه AB لكن ال point C زي ما انتم شايفين doesn't belong لل straight line AB يعني مش موجودة داخل الخط ده ولا تنتمي لهذا الخط المستقيم نقطة C خارج هذا الخط المستقيم and now we will learn how to draw a perpendicular from point C to AB. As shown in the following figure, the required is constructing the perpendicular to AP from C. Now we will start our procedure. Our steps starting by using the compass at C as a center. And with suitable radius, we will draw an arc to intersect AP at the two points D and E as shown in the following figure. In the following figure, here we have AP a straight line and C is the point outside this straight line and doesn't belong to this straight line. Now we will open our compass, a suitable radius and draw an arc like this. This is our compass. You can stand here with the sharp point or the metal part at point C, then use uh, the pencil to draw an arc intersect with the straight line at two points D and E as shown in the following figure. Here, this arc intersect at two points, point D and point E. This is the first step. You can stand here with the metal part or a sharp point at point C, then draw a, the arc will intersect at two points D and E. What about the second step? At D and E as centers and with a suitable radius, maybe greater than half DE, draw two arcs to intersect each other at L as shown in the following figure. Now we have two new points, D and E. We can stand here using our compass and put the sharp point or the metal parts at D, then open the compass a radius greater than half DA. For example, if we have uh, DA, its length is six centimeter, so we will open the radius of the compass greater than half six, which is three. So we will open it, for example, 3.5 or four. Then we can stand with the middle part at D to draw an arc. And we can move again to D to use the compass at E and draw another arc. Now we have two intersecting arcs at one point. اللي احنا عملناه بعد ما رسمنا الارك اللي قطع الخط المستقيم اي بي في النقطتين دي و اي ان انا ببدا احسب اللينس للدي اي يوزنج الرولر انا حسبت اللينس وطلع اي قيمه ببدا اعمل اوبن للكومبس بتاعي اكبر من نصف هذه القيمه 
يعني مثلا لو طلع اللينس بتاع الـ DE 6 سنتيمتر فهاف الـ 6 ده عبارة عن 3 أنا محتاجة أعمل open للـ radius بتاعنا للـ compass greater than الـ 3 وبعد كده بنقدر نقف بالجزء الميتال الحاد أو الـ sharp point عند الـ D ونرسم arc ونقف كمان بنفس الـ open distance دي عند الـ E ونعمل another arc وبعد كده هما الاثنين intersect at point we called it L So they intersect at point L, and um, in this step, we will draw CL to be the straight line passing through C perpendicular to AB as shown in the following figure. That can be the shape of the final step we reached in step number two. In the last step, we need to use the ruler and the pencil to make a joint between the point C and the point L that we have in front of us, and we need to draw a line which is perpendicular to AB. Now, this line CL is perpendicular to the straight line AB, as you see. CL is perpendicular to AB. Secondly, my dears, drawing a perpendicular to a straight line that passes through a point which belongs to that straight line. Look at this straight line. We have straight line AP and point C belong to this straight line. If AB is a given straight line, C belong to straight line AB as shown in the following figure. We want to draw a perpendicular to this straight line that passes through a point. We will pass through the point C belong to this straight line. Let's start our first step. This is the straight line AP and this is the point C which is belong to this straight line AP. We will use our compass to stand with the metal board at C, then draw an arc intersect the left side at point E and intersect the right side at point D as shown in the following figure. So we will place the sharp point of the compass at C and adjust it with suitable lengths to draw two arcs in different sides. So, in the right side, we draw an arc. In the left side, we draw another arc. They intersect this straight line at two points, E and D. يعني اللي احنا عملناه ان احنا بدأنا نقف بالشارب بوينت او بالجزء الميتال اللي موجود في الكومبس عند C وبنعمل open radius مناسب بحيث ان احنا نعمل intersect يعني هنقطع الستريت لاين ده في two points. لما نرسم ارك على اليمين وارك على الشمال بنفس الديستنس اللي احنا عملنا اوبن للكومبس بيها بتكون مناسبه وبنرسم التو اركس زي ما احنا عملنا دلوقتي في الفولوينج فيجر After that the second step we place the sharp point of the compass at each of the points D and E and adjust it with length greater than half the length of DE. Then draw two arcs to intersect at point X as shown in the following figure. محتاجين هنا نقف شوية ونركز لأن الـ straight line اللي موجود قدامنا اللي هو AB كان موجود عليه الـ point C اللي هي belong للـ AB. السؤال اللي أنا هسأله هنا للي بيتابعوني كلهم حبايبي يا ترى احنا الخطوة الأولى عملنا ايه؟ برافو احنا في الخطوة الأولى عملنا standing at point C then we adjust a suitable length then draw two arcs يعني احنا وقفنا في الـ point C وعملنا open للـ compass بـ radius مناسب then draw two arcs طيب احنا بنرسم الـ two arcs دول في side واحد ولا في different sides؟ Huh? Well done, my dears. In different sides of C. Of C. يعني أنا محتاجة أقف في C. مش هقف في A ولا هقف في B. أنا محتاجة 
اقف في البوينت سي بالشارب بوينت او بالميتر بارت اللي موجود في الكومبس بتاعك والكومبس ده هي الاداه اللي انت بترسم بيها الاركس اللي هي البرجل بالعربي يعني لكن احنا في الماس بنقول ان انا عندي تو بوينتس في واحده فيهم فيها بنسل والثانيه شارب بوينت شارب بوينت دي الجزء الميتال اللي موجود في الكومبس هو اللي بنقف فيه عند السي كسنتر وبنبدا بعد كده نستخدم الجزء اللي فيه البنسل علشان نعمل درو للتو اركس كده انا عملت دروينج للفيرست ارك وقطع الستريت لاين بتاعنا في البوينت اللي هي اي وعلى الديفرنت سايد الاتجاه المختلف تماما بالنسبه للاتجاه اللي احنا رسمنا فيه الارك ده وقطع الستريت لاين في البوينت اي كمان انا رسمت ارك كمان وقطع الستريت لاين في البوينت دي now we have two intersecting points E and D okay الخطوة اللي موجودة عندي دلوقتي خطوة مهمة جدا because we must uh, use our compass to place the sharp point of the compass at each of the points D and E يعني الشارب بوينت ده مرة هنخليه موجود عند D بالشكل اللي قدامكم كده ده الشارب بوينت الجزء الميتر اللي موجود في الكمبس هنقف عند D ونعمل ايه؟ Draw an arc طيب يا ترى انا بعمل اوبن للكمبس بناء على ايه؟ We must adjust it with lens greater than half the length of DE يعني انت محتاج الاول وهو ده اللي خلاني اقول لكم لازم نقف هنا شويه انا محتاج الاول استخدم الرولر بتاعتي واعمل ميجرنج لللينس فروم اي تو دي اعمل ميجرنج لللاين سيجمنت اللي اسمها اي دي هنقيس طول اي دي كام باستخدام الرولر مثلا فور اكزامبل طلع 6 هاف ال 6 ده 3 يبقى انت محتاج ان انت تعمل اوبن للكومبس بتاعك جريتر ذان 3 وليكن 4 or 5 or 3.5 it must open or adjust your compass uh, with a suitable length uh, then draw arcs uh, at standing at point D then we stand at point E so the length must be greater than half of the length of D E Then we draw two arcs like this. We draw the first arc. After that, we move to point E and draw another uh, arc. Now we have two arcs intersect at one point. After that, my dears, there is another step. When drawing a perpendicular to a straight line that passes through a point which belongs to that straight line, like point C, We uh, draw XC, then XC is perpendicular to AB. إحنا وصلنا للشكل ده في الستيب اللي قبل كده، وكنا ستاندينج في البوينت E والبوينت D، وبدأنا نعمل دروينج الـ two arcs، الـ two arcs دور intersect at point. لو أنا وصلت البوينت D بالبوينت C كده أنا بعمل دروينج للـ perpendicular على الـ straight line AB. طيب. مهم جدا ان انا اعمل اوبن للكومبس بلينس جريتر ذان هاف اللينس بتاع الاي دي دي خطوه مهمه ما ينفعش حد يعديها كده او مش بنفس الديستنس اللي انت عملت اوبن للكومبس عليها عشان ترسم التو اركس اللي قطعوا الستريت لاين اي بي في اي ودي تقدر تعمل ستاندنج وتعمل تاني لا لازم الاول تحسب بالرولر الاي دي اللينس بتاعها قد ايه وليكن 10 مثلا هاف ال10 ده هاف ال10 ده 5 يبقى انت محتاج وانت بتعمل ستاندنج بالشاربنج بوينت عند الاي والدي ان انت تعمل اوبن للكومبس بتاعك جريتر ذان ال5 يعني مثلا 5.5 اور 6 اند مي بي جريتر ذان ذس تو ستاند ات بوينت اي اور بوينت دي اند ثرو تو انترسكتنج اركس After that, you will use your ruler and your pencil to draw a line perpendicular to this straight line AP. Now we draw a line perpendicular to straight line uh, AB. Uh, you can practice with yourself now. If I told you, please draw a perpendicular to a straight line from a point 
which belong to that straight line. So you must follow these steps. Firstly, you will draw the straight line. Secondly, try to put a point belong to this straight line, like point C. After that, you will stand at point C as a center with the sharp point of your uh, compass or with the metal part of your compass, then draw two arcs in different sides. These two arcs will intersect with the straight line AB at two points E and B. Then you must calculate the length of ED using your ruler. Now the length is 10 centimeter, 8 centimeter, 6 centimeter. Anyway, you must know the half of the length. And after you get the half of this length, open the radius of the compass more than the half. It must open your compass more than the half of the length of these two points. After that, you can stand two times. The first time standing at E, then draw an arc, or stand at D, then draw another arc. The two arcs intersect at one point. You can join between this point, and uh, the point belongs to the straight line to draw the perpendicular. My dears, the axis of symmetry of a line segment. The axis of symmetry of a line segment. It is a straight line perpendicular to it from its midpoint. Pay attention. If we have in the opposite figure, AB is a line segment, and we want to know what is this axis of symmetry of this line segment AB. As you see in the following figure, if C is a midpoint of AB and the straight line L perpendicular to line segment AB from the point C, then the straight line L is the axis of symmetry of the line segment AB. محور تماثل القطع المستقيمة هو الترجمة بتاعة الاكسس of symmetry. امتى يكون أي لاين عندي زي اللاين أو straight لاين L بسميه axis of symmetry لما يكون perpendicular على اللاين segment ولما كمان يعمل لي perpendicular مش من أي مكان لازم يكون من الميد بوينت اللي هي نقطة المنتصف للاين segment بحيث إنه يكون عندي مثلا في الإكزامبل اللي قدامنا ال C B equal ال C A as you see if C is a midpoint of AB, C هنا هي ال midpoint, then the straight line L, the straight line اللي اسمه L, perpendicular to AB. ليه بنقول عليه perpendicular to AB؟ لأن إحنا عملنا له drawing as a perpendicular من ال midpoint. كده نقدر نقول إن ال straight line L ده عبارة عن ال axis of symmetry of the line segment AB. Now we will learn how to constructing the symmetry axis of the given line segment. Draw a line segment of length 5 cm. Then draw its symmetry axis. احنا عندنا steps لازم نمشي عليها لو احنا حابين نحل سؤال زي ده ونعمل a symmetric line لأي line segment معروف اللينث بتاعها. لو أنا عندي مثلا سميت اللاين سيجمنت دي آه AB وأنا لازم أبدأ أستخدم الرولر والبنسل علشان أرسم في البداية بالرولر بتاعتي والبنسل اللاين سيجمنت AB والمطلوب عندنا the required is constructing the symmetry axis of the line segment AP as perpendicular to AB from its midpoint. As you know, the definition of the uh, symmetric axis is the perpendicular to uh, this uh, line segment from its midpoint. We will follow these steps, my dear. Firstly, using the compass at uh, point A as a center, and uh, we will a radius greater than half of AB. Let's start to draw a line segment with five centimeters length. Now we draw a, a line segment with five centimeters, so we can call it AB or you as you like. After that, we must use our compass to uh, make uh, this metal part or a sharp point uh, with a radius greater than half this 
uh, line segment. This line segment is 5 centimeter. So half of 5 centimeter is 2.5. So pay attention to pull open your compass with a radius greater than half of 5, which is 2.5. After that, we can stand with the short point or a middle part at the starting point, then draw an arc like this. Up and down, we can draw the first arc up and draw the second one uh, down. After that, we can using the compass at the second ending point or starting point and ending point and with the same radius. This is something more important. لازم يكون عندنا بنفس الradius اللي احنا عملنا بيه standing في starting point ورسمنا الarc up and down. محتاجين ننقل على ال ending point بنفس الradius. ما ينفعش اعمل distance جديدة للcompass وما ينفعش ان احنا نغير منها اطلاقا طالما انا عايز ارسم axis of symmetry. يبقى اول خطوة هعيدها تاني. إن إحنا بنرسم اللاين سيجمنت باللينس اللي هو طلبه مني الـ 5 سنتيمتر. سهل جدا إن أنا أحسب هاف اللينس ده، الهاف بتاعنا منتصف اللينس أو نصها كام؟ نصها 2.5، طب لو كانت 6 كان هيبقى 3، طب لو كانت 7 كان هيبقى 3.5، يا ترى أعمل أوبن بالهاف ولا جريتر ذان الهاف؟ إحنا في الرسم بتاعنا بنعمل أوبن بإيه؟ برافو عليكم، ممتازين. بنعمل open be greater than half the distance. طيب أنا عملت open the radius بتاعنا في the compass greater than the half بتاع the length بتاعنا اللي هو five في the example بتاعنا two point five. أنا مثلاً وليكن أنا عملت open the distance d three centimeter وعملت standing the sharping point at the starting point ل line segment. ممكن في حد منكم سميها x y حد منكم سميها a p and uh, as you like, up to you. أنا عملت standing في the starting point وعملت drawing للarc up وكمان بنفس radius أنا عملت drawing للarc down. أنا محتاج أنقل الناحية الثانية and draw another two arcs. أدي الarc الثاني اللي intersect لل first arc up and with the same radius we intersect uh, the second arc at one point also, then we have two intersecting points up and down. Now we need to join between the two intersecting points, then draw a perpendicular uh, to this line segment. If you called it AB, you can uh, call the two intersecting points D and E, then you can uh, draw the perpendicular from point E to D. Now the perpendicular, intersects at one point in this uh, line segment, which is the middle of the line segment. So we can call it uh, C, for example. Uh, use your ruler and your pencil and pay attention. You must use your geometric tools when you draw perpendicular or when you draw a line segment, when you uh, use uh, your compass to draw an arc, you must use your geometric tools and your pencil. مهم جدا ان انا استخدم ادوات الهندسيه ما ينفعش ابدا ان انا اوصل البربنديكولار بايدي او ان انا استخدم اي اقلام ثانيه بخلاف آه القلم الرصاص اثناء الدروينج آه في الجيومتريك كونستراكشنز احنا محتاجين نستخدم الجيومتريك تولز بنفس الطريقه وبنفس الستبس اللي احنا عرضناها لحضراتكم دلوقتي علشان يكون الرسم بتاعنا منظم ويكون الرسم بتاعنا مطابق للكويستشن اللي جه عندنا في الامتحان. Now my dear, there is something important. Notice that the axis of symmetry of the sides of any triangle are intersecting at one point, say M. The position of M differs according to the type of the triangle as follows. We want to uh, review with ourselves what is the types of triangle according to the measure of its angles. You studied that before at grade uh, four, I think, in prime grades. You know that the types of the triangle according to the measure of its angles is acute angle triangle, right angle 
triangle and obtuse angle triangle. So we have three types of triangle. If the three angles of triangle are acute, acute, so the type of the triangle is an acute angle triangle. If there is one right angle inside this triangle, we can call it right angle triangle. If there is one obtuse angle inside this triangle, we can call it obtuse angle triangle. Now we we'll review with ourselves the three types of the triangle according to the measure of its angle. What about the axis of symmetry? Look at the first type, acute angle triangle. Here we have three acute angles. And we want to draw the axis of symmetry for this uh, triangle. So we must draw the axis of symmetry of each side of the triangle. As you know, we have three sides inside any triangle. You know that the first side we can draw easily as axis of symmetry using the previous steps. كل اللي انا هعمله علشان ارسم محور تماثل او axis of symmetry للسايد ده ان انا هتابع الخطوات اللي انا قلتها لكم في الشريحه اللي فاتت وفي الاكزامبل اللي فات. كل اللي عليا ان انا هبدا ارسم ال two arcs بتوعنا up and down وطبعا بنعمل open لل radius او ال distance لل compass greater than half the line segment بتاعة التراينجل الموجود عندنا. وبعدين نعمل join between two intersecting points دول هيترسم عندنا ال axis of symmetry perpendicular على ال straight line ده كان في ال first side و second side و كمان ال third side. As you notice زي ما انتو شايفين ال three axis of symmetry intersect at one point. This point as you know excellent my dear I can call it or say we can say M. This point is inside the triangle ABC. For example, if I say this triangle is called ABC triangle and the type of this triangle is acute angle triangle, so uh, the point M is inside the triangle. What about the right angle triangle? Now we have ABC uh, is a right angle triangle at vertex a, A is a right angle. So, if I want to draw three axes of symmetry, I'll start with CB to draw the axis of symmetry at AB. Then we draw the axis of symmetry at BC. Then we draw the axis of symmetry at AC. Uh, okay, in the previous example, when we talk about the acute angle, axis of symmetry must divide the line segment or the side of the triangle uh, to equal parts because this uh, point must mean the midpoint must be the midpoint of the side of the triangle. Now we draw uh, the axis of symmetry of AB intersect at this point. After that, we draw the axis of symmetry of AC. And the two axes intersect at this point. After that, we draw the axis of symmetry of CB using the previous steps. Hatululi tabehna zay binarsim el axis of symmetry yamis le triangle. Atabir kol le side lens andak fi triangle hawa line segment fi example el ehna tabbaqna ali lama kunt midiyako example el zay namel axis of symmetry le line segment el lens btaha masalan 5 centimeter. هتبدأ تحسب اللينس بتاع كل سايد عندك وتعمل open للكومبس بتاعك greater than half the distance ده أو السايد لينس ده وبعد كده تعمل standing at the starting point and the ending point للسايد اللي عندك تعمل arcs up and down intersect at two points توصل ما بينهم يبقى أنت كده عملت drawing للأكسس of symmetry تقدر ترجع للخطوات اللي فاتت تاني وترسم لكل سايد لينس عندك axis of symmetry لكن زي ما انتم شايفين وده right angle triangle اكتشفنا ان ال 3 axis of symmetry intersect at one point ها M is the midpoint of the hypotenuse M 
is the midpoint of the hypotenuse. لأنه طبعا the axis of symmetry عملي divide لي is CB اللي هو the hypotenuse لي the right angle triangle بتاعنا at two parts, two equal parts. Now uh, the point M is the midpoint of the uh, hypotenuse CB. They intersect at one point, which is the midpoint of the hypotenuse uh, CB. What about the obtuse angle triangle? At obtuse angle triangle, we have one angle. Its measure is greater than 90 degree and less than 180 degree. زي ما انتوا عارفين ما فيش عندي تريانجل في الدنيا ممكن نقول عليه ان هو يحتوي two right angle أو two obtuse angle. التريانجل ده ممكن يكون موجود فيه one right angle or one obtuse angle لكن ما ينفعش أبدا نقول uh, two. فبالتالي أنا عندي هنا one obtuse angle أنا uh, هبدأ أرسم ال axis of symmetry بنفس الطريقة اللي أنا عرضتها هنا وفي ال previous example بتاع ال line segment اللي 5 سنتيمتر أنا بقيس ال length بتاع ال AB بنبدأ نعمل open the compass بتاعنا greater than half ال AB then stand at point A draw an arc up and down stand at point B uh, draw an arc up and down intersecting at two points Gen join between these points to draw the axis of symmetry of AB. After that, we uh, use our ruler and our pencil to, uh, to know the length of AC and open the radius again, a distance which is more than half the AC. And I have the axis of length of AC. We will open the compass greater than half the AC. We will stand at point A or point C and draw uh, two arcs intersect at two points up and down. Then draw uh, the second axis of symmetry. After that, we have to draw uh, the axis of symmetry to uh, the line segment CB. So we must open uh, at uh, our compass again. More than half of CB, then stand at point C to draw an arc and stand at point B to draw a, another arc. They intersect at one point up and in the different side intersect at uh, one point down. Then we join between two intersecting points uh, to draw a perpendicular. The three axes of symmetry intersect at one point outside the triangle. Okay, my dears, it's something important to know that in acute angle, these three points intersect at one point inside the triangle and in the right angle triangle, the three axes of symmetry intersect at one point, which is the midpoint of the hypotenuse, but in obtuse angle triangle, the three axes of symmetry of the triangle intersect at one point outside the triangle. Let's see that something important is to know that AM equals MP equals MC. Again, AM equals MP equals MC. That's what I want to say, that the length of the line segment, which is joining the point of intersection of the axis of symmetry and the vertex of the triangle, are equal in all previous cases. In any triangle, if we draw the axis of symmetry, the length of the line segment, joining the point of the intersection of the axis of symmetry and the vertex of the triangle are equal in the old previous cases like we our example we can say am equals pm equals cm this is what we talk about my dears today and i hope you will interest our lesson with all my best wishes to see you in next lesson, inshallah, Mrs. Shayma Saeed.